I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. And today we're gonna talk about bags. We're gonna talk about one bag and do a full review of this bad boy here, my favorite roller bag. This bag is the Airport Advantage X tea by a company called Think Tank. Full disclosure, I am a Think Tank pro, so I'm a sponsored photographer for Think Tank. But also, full disclosure, I actually used Think Tank bags extensively for over a decade before I had any affiliation with them whatsoever. And they don't ask me to do reviews, they don't filter this, they don't tell me what I can and can't say. I get an allotment of bags a year, and if I want to talk about their bags, I can, and I am, because I love this bag right here. So let's get into it. So this bag here is the Think Tank Airport Advantage XT. Think Tank makes a bunch of different roller bags with a bunch of different sizes, big, small, everything in between, more focused, some more focused on security, but this is my favorite overall bag from them. This is my go-to roller bag. This is what I take when I fly. So let's get into the specs. So this bag costs $300. That's a hefty price. It's a lot of money. $300 is a decent amount of money for a bag, but it's worth it. The materials, um, all the thought process that goes into it. So let's get into the features right away. This bag comes in two different colors. It comes in graphic and it comes in black. This here is the graphite color. Very minimalistic, very slick. I dig it. So the big features on this bag and what they're really putting out there, which is why I love it, which is why I actually got this bag because it's a big deal for me. This bag is lightweight for what you get. Who cares if you're just rolling it? Well, I care because this is my carry-on bag. This is when I'm traveling with a lot of gear, a lot of commercial gear. I load up, depends on what I'm doing. Could be one of these, could be two of these bags, but I fill this bag up with gear, so it's gonna be way over my carry-on allotment. So every kilo or every pound that I can shave off of it in the bag is very helpful. That's why I don't use Pelican cases. Pelican cases are great when you're shipping stuff, but they're very, very bulky. They also draw a lot of attention. So that leads me to the second thing I love about this bag. It doesn't draw a lot of attention. It doesn't look like a camera bag, even though that's exactly what it is. That's what it was born to do. So why does it come in handy? For a multitude of reasons. One, when it looks like a camera bag, a lot of times airport people want to weigh it because they're gonna think, oh, you have a lot of gear in there. Let's weigh that bag. It's gonna be heavy. That's what I don't want to happen. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Another thing is theft or immigration, or if you go into another country, Country and you don't have all the proper paperwork to shoot there, but you're carrying a lot of gear and they think you're gonna be like a journalist or doing this big commercial shoot, this isn't gonna draw a lot of attention like a Pelican case. A Pelican case, immigration, people are gonna search right through that bag. They wanna know everything in there. They think it's professional gear. This bag is professional build quality, but on the outside, it just looks like a standard roller bag. It looks like a piece of luggage, something you might have clothes in it, but guess what? snuck it in. So a couple features on this bag. I'm gonna read from the site. I'm not gonna go through the exact dimensions. I've been watching a lot of the CNN election coverage and they're doing a lot of movements with the maps and things. I just tried to do a touch screen on my MacBook Pro. Guess what, MacBook Pro does not have a touch screen. So we've got the weight. It is 7.5 pounds or 3.4 kilos. Just a couple things that they put on here. The interior dimensions are 13.3 inches with 18 inches in height, 6.5 to 7.5 inches in depth. So let's go through the materials. For the exterior, it is a durable water repellent DW or coating. It is polyurethane coating. Sorry, I have to read because I'm not like quick at remembering stuff like that. So I'm just going to read off the website so I don't mess this up. It is a 500D two-tone poly tech weave. The zippers are YKK. I'll get in later why I like that. And I'll get in why I love these zippers in particular. It has a rubberized laminate enforcement, nylon webbing, three-ply bonded nylon thread, some of the specs, and the wheels. Wheels are important. If roller bag, you might not think of that kind of stuff, but wheels are important. The wheels are very chunky. They're very, very strong. They can go sort of off-roading with them, although like, I don't know how off-roading gonna go with a roller bag, but they're very, very, very durable. I've used their bags for years, never had any problems with them. You can also swap out the wheels if you wanted to try something different, like a different color or something like that, or if you, through the years, like if something went wrong. It's nice just to have something that can swap out, because the wheels are probably the first thing to wear out, but these wheels are built very, very durably. The wheels are high performance, 80 millimeter super quiet wheels with sealed ball bearings. It's smooth, yeah, it's very smooth. You can see when you turn these wheels, and when you go into the airport, you're a photographer, but no one knows because you're just sliding through 
pretty quiet wheels, but the wheels are actually kind of quiet. So let's go into this bag from top to bottom. I'm gonna tell you all the stuff I like about it, and there's a couple little things I don't love about it, but I'll explain what those are and why. So let's just get into this bag from top to bottom. So retractable handle here, very, very strong, very quick, never had any problems with it. Some of these things get stuck, this doesn't. Uh, easy little push button here in the top, push it in, retract it out, different levels. You can leave it here, you can leave it here. If you wanted, get it all the way up to the top here. It's nice, durable. What I would say to people out there is be careful. Through the years you use these bags, a lot of times you're lazy and like you're going over a big curb or something like that. You're gonna wanna grab this and pull the whole bag up from it. Now they don't recommend it, or at least I don't recommend it. I'll speak for myself because through the years, you can have this thing come out. I have had that happen on some of my roller bags just by being lazy and picking it up from here instead of the handle they provide here. So when this thing's fully packed out and it can weigh like, you know, 30 pounds or 40 pounds or something like that, you don't wanna be picking it up from this handle here. Not that it's flimsy, but just pick it up from here. It just makes more sense. You don't wanna deal with a problem where this thing gets stuck or this thing breaks. But handle feels good in your hand. Nothing too sexy about it, but nothing unsexy about it. It has a zipper here around the handle too. These little things I love. Once it's packed away and you're not in roller mode, then it sounds Kind of funny, not in roller mode. You can just sort of zip it up and hide it and you don't see it and stuff can't get in there like little gunk or whatever would get in there that could mess it up. Here you've got like three points of handles which I really like. You've got the top handle, you've got the side handle here. This comes in handy and once you pack this bag out and it's really, really filled with stuff and you put this in the overhead compartment, it's, it's heavy. So to have two points of contact is great when you're taking it out of that overhead so you don't like smack yourself in the head or that awkward thing where you like turn around and hit somebody else and knock them out and then there's a lawsuit. Um, so it's got three handles. It's got one on the top, one on the side here, and then one on the bottom here as well, which is really nice. If you wanted to grab from there as well, you can. So or if you wanted to grab from these two, here you can, so options. You know, if you put your bag in this way, you can grab from the back. If you put your bag in this way, you can grab from the front. So very, very nice there. Two here on the side, you do have this flexible pocket here. You could stick a water bottle in here. You could stick a tripod, which is probably what most people use it for. And then you've got these little slots here. One, two, and three. If you wanna put a strap here just for a little more security for your tripod, or if you're putting an umbrella or something in there. Or you can attach like carabiners or even tie something through here if you want just for more carrying options. So they're not on this side, there's only three on this side, but it works well with the tripod set up here or for the water bottle. So the YK zippers here, really, really chunky zippers. I like that, that is important to me. Your main compartment, you want those zippers to be reliable, you want them to last a long time. These will, these are YKK zippers, the industry standard, but they're not just like any YKK zippers. They're like really, really, that's not the official name, but they're really like chunky ones. Uh, and they also have, there's two openings here in the zippers. You could put like a little zip tie through here if you were checking it in, although I don't love to check in these kind of bags, but sometimes we do if I'm not putting actual like full on like glass or lenses or stuff like that. They do also make a bag that has a built in lock here with a combination. That's their airport security bag. That has a little more features if you're really worried about security. Yeah, that's one of the things I don't like. I did like that little built in combination lock because sometimes I keep this bag in my hotel room. I just don't want to invite any thievery or people looking through my lenses and stuff like that. Lenses are expensive. Also. I'm not gonna put everything in the safe because they're too big. So like, just to be able to lock this up is nice, but you can, it's still an option. You can just buy a little padlock, you lock it through the zippers here and it'll be tight, it'll be hard to get into just as hard as if it had the combination or something like that. So got the front pocket here, it fits up to a 17 inch laptop, they say. It's got a main pocket here, Velcro on the outside, easy access. What I like about this is I don't always keep my laptop in here too much, but when I'm going through the airport, when I'm traveling quickly, I dump it in here because it's so easy to take out. So when you gotta take it out, I've just got this quick Velcro strap here, take the laptop out, good to go through security, so it's just fast. Normally though, I do keep my laptop in a, either a backpack or sort of a sling bag sort of style, but when I wanna go through quickly, quick access, have it here, or sometimes if I'm shooting tether and I don't wanna also take a laptop bag with me, I have my full kit in here if the client needs to see something tethered, which I don't love to do, but sometimes you have to do it, or if you just need to check shots on location, just stick your laptop in here. In addition to the main pocket here, it's quite like flexible, it extends out really, really far, so you could put some other stuff. You can put a laptop in there, but you can put whatever else in there. You could fit like a bunch of shirts in there or something like that, or a raincoat, whatever you want, even more wires and things like that. It's very, very deep, comes down here, and it does extend quite a bit. It does have another little flap inside here, you could, I don't know if you could fit an iPad in here. I could test that out. You could fit some other little wires and things like here, documents. Travels with documents anymore, but you could put your passport holder in here or something like that. That's kind of nice. Now this isn't very heavily padded. That's one of the things I don't like about this bag. But what I would suggest and what I do, just a little workaround is, I keep my laptop in a laptop padded sleeve anyway. So I can dump that in there and then I'm fine. And it has plenty of room to fit even like if you have like a chunky laptop sleeve, it can fit 
right in here. So those are my two things that I kind of don't love about it, that it doesn't have the built-in combination, but I get it, they're saving weight and you can work around it with your own lock here, with your own little padlock you can take with you. And the same thing, it's not very heavily padded. Again, there's a weight for your laptop in front, but a workaround is if you travel with a laptop sleeve, you're fine, no problems there. So let's open it up. It opens up in a sort of clamshell style, traditionally for these types of roller bags. A lot of space in there, a lot of customization options in here. I mean, they've just got all their different dividers, different options for that kind of stuff. Like I mainly use this on commercial shoots, so I had this bag set up for that, but I used to shoot weddings a lot. When I did shoot weddings, this was a great bag for weddings. You might not think of a roller bag for a wedding, but it actually comes in handy if you're a traveling destination wedding photographer, because like a lot of times those are at hotels. I can wheel it around where I need to, then I just kind of open it up and work out of it. I just kind of have it there on the ground, work out of it when I need stuff. Sometimes people like a backpack, but a roller bag comes in handy, not just for like the hotel jobs that I do. Like I said, it also works well for weddings and things like that. Anytime you're on location and traveling, this is a perfect bag for that. So the inside, a lot of different customization options, a lot of nice padding on the side so your lenses will be protected. Padding in between your bag will be protected really well. You've got these mesh pockets here that are nice. This is what I use for extra batteries, memory card holders, you know, other little things that you just need, little accessories you can fit in here. And then mesh pockets are nice because you can see what you have rather than like sort of digging in there and trying to figure out what you have. The mesh pockets are nice, nice and durable. So, you know, sort of traditional opening of the inside. For all the stuff that you can fit in here, different combinations, you can compare on their website. Their website is fantastic for you to see different options, what you can carry, different lenses, different cameras, all that kind of stuff. And you can compare, they have a great chart to compare all their different bags, all the different configurations. So, so you could just look at that and like totally geek out if you want and just see like what you could fit in there, what you can't. Yeah, there's a lot of different options here. Other little things I love about this bag, just small things here around the wheels, just like this really thick, chunky plastic here. It's very, very durable, very strong, just to protect it. You know, when you're going over curbs, you're bumping into things, you're rolling through silent, you're quiet, but you might be bumping into things every once in a while. So this handle here is also protects against that kind of stuff, like going over curbs and things like that. You're not gonna like rattle the bag in the inside. Everything's gonna be protected. And it's just like thick, chunky plastic. So cool combo thing here, grip, and it also protects the bag. And then for other little pockets here, tiny things you have in here on the top, it's a clear pocket there you can just use for identification, or if you just wanna keep all your business cards and they're like a little stack of them. You could fit a bunch of them in there. It just has a little piece of Velcro see-through there. Anyway, great way for identification. So you could use a tiny little zip pocket here underneath for quick access for your passport or for your phone. You don't want to take your phone out, put it in something else. I just like to keep my phone, everything together so I can get through the airport quickly. I'm like the guy in up in the air, George Clooney, besides all the good looks and you know being suave and all that. But like when he goes to the airport, I'm him. I'm like eyeballing people, see how I can get around them faster, seeing who's gonna be slow. I'm very efficient. I my 40 time. There's an equivalent of your 40 time of going through airport security. I'd be up there, I'd be pretty good. I'd... Overall, I love this bag. Big thing they're saying about this bag, and the reason I think they made this bag was it's a go-to overall lightweight roller bag. It's sort of very versatile. This is my favorite roller bag. I've got a bunch of different roller bags by Think Tank, different bags for different situations, but this is my go-to. This is if I could have one roller bag in the world, this is it. This is the roller bag that, maybe it's not like the one night stand, you know, or like the trophy wife, but this is the one that after a couple dates, you're like, yeah, I, I think I can make this work. This is the bag that you marry, that's it. I mean, sorry, I don't wanna have a one night stand with you, but this is the bag that you're like, oh, wait a minute, I think. I think I'm falling in love. Next thing you know, you're married, you got a bunch of kids together. This is that bag. This is the bag you take home to meet your parents. This is the Think Tank Airport Advantage XT. This is a carry-on bag. It is fit for international flights. They don't guarantee that because, you know, different airlines have different policies. Policies are constantly changing. I will say I've never had any problems with this bag at all ever carrying it on. So last thing I'll say about Think Tank as a company, really cool warranty. I'll just read their warranty because they say it better than I can, but it's a really cool warranty. So the warranty reads, to the original owner, we guarantee and warrant our products against any defects in material or workmanship for as long as you use the product. How cool is that? Normally there's like verbiage in there to like work around legally so they don't have to take responsibility, but they're like standing by their product, which I think is really cool. It says, if you have any problems with the product, please contact us for return authorization at warranty at thinktankphoto.com before sending the product. But they stand by their products, they really do. I really appreciate that, I love that perspective. They're not using like law words, they're using like real people words, which I dig. But just to wrap up, a couple things I don't like, and I told you the workarounds is the laptop pad in the front isn't very like padded, but I would just use a sleeve for that. There's no sort of security protection, but they do make their Think Tank Airport security bag. So if you're like really into security, that bag has a wire that can come out. You can lock it to something, it has a built-in combination. So that's a different kind of bag for a person that has different thoughts, but there are workarounds because the zippers do have a loop through that. You could put a padlock or you could even just tie like something around here if you wanted to lock your bag to something in your hotel so someone can take your whole bag. But overall, what I love about this bag is yes, the craftsmanship, 
durability, very minimalistic style. I do love this new graphite look that they're going with in their bags. Everything about it, big chunky zippers, really, really dig that. But what I love is that it is lightweight. It's very lightweight, 7.5 pounds, 3.4 kilos. It's the lightest roller bag they have at this size ever. So I really, really dig this bag overall for that. It's a fantastic bag. So that's my conclusions bag. I really, really dig it. I think for any of you out there that are traveling and if you're going through airports that want to carry maximum gear, you don't want to look so obvious that you're carrying camera equipment. You want a bag that you're going to have the rest of your life. Again, like I said, not a one night stand bag, not a show pony, not the trophy wife or the trophy husband or anything like that. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful day. See you later.